Hello everybody, I am Muddy Dragon and welcome back to Days Gone. Right, let's see. I would like to do this I Remember mission. Right, let's drop off these bounties, get a little bit of credits for the camp. Oh, I almost forgot. Might as well deliver what meat I've got as well. Yeah, definitely. I remember. Right, it's, it's a bit of a journey. Oh, what the hell? Sneaky... Bastards, I haven't experienced that trap. Ow, you slut. That, that's brood. That's a horrible trap, right? I'm gonna fuck you up. Take that. And that. I missed, great. There you go, I didn't miss that time. Jesus. That was a horrible trap. Horrible. I've got to fix up my baby now. Right, we're almost back at the base. Go checking on Boozer, I guess, and, uh, See what goes on with this uh, this little quest. I do like doing the I remembers ones. They're quite nice. Let's craft another Molotov. Always, always stay stocked up. Hey, hey, let's grab some shit. Hey, yeah, it's hell out there. There we go. That's nice. Bandage, scrap rags. Why not? How you doing? How you doing, mate? Hey, uh, you're not answering the radio. Yep. I hope his arm gets better. I oh, know, I was... <laughs> but... I'm alright, I'm alright! Yeah. I've got a feeling. I've got you know, a bad I feeling. Ugh, my head's pounding like a mother. You're burning up. No, no, yeah. no, I'm just, I'm just tired. Okay, stay here. Rest. I'll think of something. Look, I don't need a goddamn babysitter. I'm fine. No, but you do need help. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Think. Here, come here. I'll show you what you're looking for. Oh, we're treated to a flashback. Hello. Found it. <laughs> All right, come on, focus. I am <laughs> focused. All right, so this one is called Lavandula and Gustafolia. Lavender? Yes, well, I'm still paying off my student loan, so I will stick with Latin, mm -hmm. but you could call it that. Yeah, get your money's worth. Go for it. <laughs> okay, come on. Give me your hand. <sighs> All right, so you want to put one hand around the flower, All right. and then put the other hand at the stem. Okay. Just like that, and then you pull nice and slow. Yeah, pull Who else likes it? Before. Has a thing for us, I say. Me, sir, this is not a weed. You have to be gentle. But apply pressure. Oh, yeah, but not I do have a thing for uh, tattoos. That's my biggest weakness. There you go, that's perfect. <laughs> and it doesn't smell very good. Okay, you hold on to those and I'm gonna collect more. <laughs> so, uh, why lavender? Well, the guys at the lab are pretty excited. Help her gather lavender, okay. I think we have this subspecies, which might have mutated monoterpenoids, which produce a modified linalool that that is so, oh my god, thank you, Einstein, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. It has a chemical that we can use to synthesize a new medicine for burn patients. Where I'm from, the only weed used for medicine is the kind that you smoke. You know, Boozer knows a guy with a farm it's about three miles up the road. Oh, that's great. Boozer's gonna wind up in prison and take you with him. <laughs> so what else do you guys make, like chemical weapons, WMDs, shit like that? No, 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 no. At least not me. Yeah? It's in my contract. None of my research can be used for military purposes. Well. <laughs> I think that's changed. Hey, there's more over here. I don't actually think Wait, it's, oh, come on, the you know, be great. Hold her on, that's responsible on. for it. What's wrong? Well, I, I didn't mean to stop that. <laughs> you know, like, more like they stole her research. Come on, what and, is it? Yeah. It's a long story. That's my guess. Well, that's okay. We can just walk. I like walking. Dang, we missed out on some swimming. So, why don't you tell me about your plants? Really? Okay. Well, this particular genus is adventitious. You want me to ask? It means not native to this area. You can thank Ogden for that. Who? Oh, shit, I asked. Peter Skeen Ogden, first explorer to come through this part of Oregon. 
He and some of the other early explorers brought all their medicinal herbs and plants with them. Some got away, and now they're growing here, mostly along the shores of small lakes and ponds. First white explorer. Wow, look at you, being all politically correct. Don't buy into all the biker stereotypes you see on TV. We are actually quite charming. I bet. The MC's got a couple of brothers, one fully patched. I don't think I've seen one I can't since I walk fast. I cannot catch up. We have to stay this distance from her, which seems a bit yeah, odd. Jack actually had some guys bust in from Sacramento just to piss off our skinhead rivals. He did not. <laughs> no, he did not. I'm kidding. Jersey Jim's an old buddy of mine. Patched him and myself. We served in the same unit. Come by the clubhouse Sunday. I'll show you around. You'd like the guy. He's funny as shit. He makes a mean margarita. Well, I have to be in the lab early on Monday, so... I'll have us back in your bed by 10. I promise. How can I refuse an offer like that? More okay, flowers? Some now. Lavender. You, you want me to pick lavender? Yep. And bring me three plants and don't crush them. Oh, oh I'm, I'm gonna, gonna crush, crush it. it. <laughs> Come on. Uh, got one. Good for you. This one? Yep, keep going. Last one. Great, bring him here. Oh. <laughs> wow, gallantry is alive and farewell after all. Mm. <laughs> it's not. I didn't kill him. <laughs> hey! Oh, oh, oh. Aww, poor guys. Hey, is that the one we're gonna smoke later? No, but this is the one we're gonna drink. I make this killer herbal tea with it. I'll bet. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Alright, if you come over, then I will make it for you, as long as you give me a ride home. Alright, great. Well, you're gonna be a believer. And we'll grab a beer from myself on the way over. <laughs> he has a good sense of humor. Okay, so I'm guessing... We need to go look for some plants. Yep, go find three lavender. Okay. Booze, I'll be back in a while. All the way over there. Hmm. Uh, well, that, well, could do that at some point. Let's go after the rippers. I'll get your lavender on the way, most probably, if I remember. If you've played this game before, what did you think of it when you was doing it? All right, I've got all that. What don't we have? Oh, we don't have level three. Nitro. Okay. Oh well. Um. Okay. Need a bit more to get that. Right. Okay. Right. Go on. Tell me all about Peak. it. Good. Got something you might be interested in. Yeah. Yeah. Don't bet on it, Cope. I'm busy. Too busy to hear about a Ripper camp here in the Cascade Wilderness. Rippers up here. <sighs> Where? Thought you might be interested. I heard how you and Boozer got hit by him. Fact. I haven't seen Boozer around much, have I? He's fine. Where, Cope? Where is it? Separation Meadow. Flack, you know her, don't you? Saw him firsthand. Past their camp when she was out on the supply run. Don't worry. I'll take care of him. Alright, let's go deal with these rippers. That was life in the shit. They're always good fun to fight. Because they're so batshit crazy. Oh, here we go. Who's mad at you, Wake? Boozer. Fuck. Yeah, I'm on my way out to Separation Meadow. Cope says there's a ripper camp up there. Rippers? This far north? Yeah, Boozer. What the hell's going on with these guys? Alki said the rippers were looking for us. That we had a price on our head. What the hell? How's that possible? I mean. Sure, I've, I've killed my share of crazy bastards, but I never went out of my way. Not that I remember. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Rippers. Peeking out. Okay, where is only... Okay, eight. Eight people in here. Let's see how many I can take out quietly. Okay, we've got that one there, that one there. Okay, and one over there. Turn this crap off. Rest in peace, bullshit. Here we go. I wonder if they'll actually come out here to have a look at it. Like in some games, you know, the power goes out and they all go and investigate. Let's 
give it a moment. No, they're not even talking about it. They're not acknowledging it's even happened. Fine by me. Let's move in. If we can throw a rock or just try and get his attention, maybe I can just get a good headshot from here. Yeah, why not? That works. Your turn. Right, don't turn around. Beautiful. Take some of that. Okay, so they're all just worshipping that thing. Take that. Bunch of crazy assholes. What are you doing up here? There's more of them. Did seem a, bl a bit too easy, to be honest. Good night. Even though I do love going in guns blazing and all that, I also do really love a bit of stealth. I used to play a lot of Metal Gear Solid back in the day. But yeah, Metal Gear Solid on the old PS1 and then Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3. And I would like to bring a few videos for Metal Gear Solid 3 to the channel at some point. I might do the full game. You know, if you if you want to see something like that, let me know. The videos will be an hour or more long. So as you're prepared for that, because as you... Right, hold on. No, it's not worth it. Because the cutscenes in, in Metal Gear games usually go on for quite a while. There we go. Beautiful glove at two left. And with Metal Gear Solid 4, I believe it holds a world record for the longest cutscene ever. <laughs> yeah, I think it was like 40 minutes or an hour. It, it, it's like watching a film. Whenever you play any Metal Gear game, you're pretty much in a gigantic film and you just get to play for it. You do get a lot of play time, but you also get an awful lot of movie time in there as well. That's one of the things I liked about it. Hideo Kojima is just a, a master. Hello. Let's take it slow. Sneak around the side of these bastards. No one moving? Can you see me? They heard me. Right, take that. And... There we go. There we go. All done. Gulp, it's done. The rivers up here won't bother anyone ever again. Oh, St. John, that's good news. I talked to Manny the other day, some of the others. I know you've been doing things for the camp. I just wanted to say thank you. Mark Copeland out. Deke, you there? You find that Ripper camp? Yeah, Boozer, I found it. You think... You think they were up here looking for us? I don't know, Booze Man. I was too busy stopping them from cutting my eyes out to ask. Sorry, brother. Sure, man. Yeah, I know. Deacon out. Oh, over here. Well, I'm very grateful that the horde is gone. If you can. Destroyed them in a, a few episodes ago. There you go. Two bits of lavender and a third. Time to head back to Boozer. And we're back. Might as well pick up some supplies while I'm here. No, don't need any more. Okay. Like I say, always stay stocked up. Hey, Boozer. Uh, God damn it. Uh, it's a funny thing. I, I was remembering how uh, a few summers back, Sarah took me out to Bear Creek. We were picking lavender, and uh, she Please. taught <laughs> she taught me how to make this sap for burns. And uh, look, I got out today. Okay, I actually had a look around the mountain. I cleared some traps. The arm's almost as good as new. All right. Okay. 
I'm just gonna leave it right here. Hey, hey. just give me a couple days. Okay, just we'll ride up north like you said and get out of this shithole. Sure. Yeah. Troll thing. Well, that... That weren't a bad mission. Got to learn a little bit, just a little snippet of Sarah. And some of the work she's doing out here, gathering the lavender. I really enjoyed that. Hey, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. Smash like. You know, hit the hell out of that thing. <laughs> and uh, hit the bell to be informed whenever I bring out a new video. Oh, there's so many to choose from. I don't know what we're going to do next. Probably do this one in the next episode. But yeah, thanks for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.